Hi there, thanks for joining me today. My name is Mary and today I'll be sewing a reversible jacket out of a secondhand blanket. It was originally priced $12.49, but I used a coupon so it ended up being under $10, so it was a very cheap project. The pattern I'm using is from Megan Nielsen Patterns and it's the Havia jacket. I chose View D for this project and I'll link the pattern down below if you're wanting to sew along with me. So the first thing that I did was I removed the binding from the outer edge using a seam ripper. I'll be using this binding later on for finishing the seams on the jacket. So I've seen this trick before where somebody used a lint roller to get the loose threads out of a piece of fabric. So I tried this out for the binding and it actually worked really well. The next step is cutting out the pattern. Here I'm showing both sides of my blanket so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. I cut four pockets because this jacket will be reversible but the rest of the pattern pieces stay the same. I attached the binding to the upper and lower edge of each pocket and sewed them on using a straight stitch. And here's my cat Fern trying to give me a hand with this. I pinned the pockets to both sides of the fabric. It's important to line it up really well in this step uh, since you'll be stitching through both sides. I stitched the outer edges of the pockets closed. The bottom of the pockets, I put a basting stitch in for now and I ended up hand stitching it later on. I pinned the front and back pieces together at the shoulders and the side seams and sewed it together. Here's what the jacket is looking like already. I think honestly this fabric would have been really cute as a vest or something as well. Here I am pinning the binding to the shoulder seams as well as the side seams. Since this jacket is going to be reversible it's important to give it a good finish on both sides. Definitely take it slow when you're sewing the binding on. Uh, you want it to be even on both sides, so take time to adjust as you go along. Now to sew the sides of the sleeve shut. It's starting to look really good with the binding sewn onto the jacket, so now I'm going to sew binding onto the side sleeve, sew the sleeves onto the jacket, as well as sew binding onto the sleeve opening, as well as the bottom of the sleeve. I'm really loving how the jacket's looking at this point. It's super cozy, but one thing that this pattern didn't have that I wanted to add was a hood. So I used a hood that I already had to make this template, and then all that you're gonna need is some paper and a pencil. So please don't look too closely at my lines. They're pretty bad, but I ended up fixing it when I cut the pattern out anyways. 
And basically, if you don't have your own hood to go off of, uh, the two side pieces are like a half moon shape, and then you'll need a rectangle uh, that extends from the bottom to the top of the hood. And then I just pinned my hood pieces together and sewed them. So I ended up not liking this little piece at the bottom of the hood, so I just cut it off. I found that the hood was way too bulky with it on. So here is the jacket now with the hood. I really like that I added the hood. I think it's gonna make it a lot uh, better for wearing in the winter. Okay, so unfortunately at this point I ran out of the binding that I had taken from the outer edge of the blanket, so I had to make my own. To do this, I cut a strip the same width as the original binding and removed all the stitching from this piece using a seam ripper. This took a really long time to do, so I was glad that I only had to do it once. I used the lint roller trick that I had used earlier, and then I ironed the piece flat. I then ironed it in half and opened the seams up to iron them again to the center. Now I'm pinning the binding all around the edge of the jacket wherever there's still open seams. Almost done, now to sew the last of the binding on. I really took my time here to make sure everything lined up properly. The final step is adding the buttons. I'm using my machine's buttonhole maker. This is another step that wasn't included in this pattern, but I wanted to add buttons to make the jacket a bit more comfortable for the winter. Since the jacket is reversible, I did the buttonholes on each side of the jacket, so there are 12 holes total. Now to seam rip the hole, always use a pin at the top of the hole so that you don't accidentally rip more than you intend to. I've definitely ruined projects before by being too lazy to do this step. I hand sewed all my buttons in. I did them about two inches or so from the seam of the jacket. And my jacket is finished. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I've always wanted a longer winter jacket and I think this one is just perfect. I think it's so cute to cuff the sleeves so that you can see the other side of the jacket as well. I really can't decide which side I like the best. Let me know down in the comments what you think and subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos like this. There's so many things that we can do to give something new life and keep materials out of the landfill and I hope that this has given you some inspiration to repurpose an old blanket. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.